the two issues with these folks, the first uh, consultation, uh, I said, how is it that you're amicable if you don't know where they live or, you know, we haven't had any communication with them. Um, so obviously I couldn't help them. Those are not the types of cases that I take. And, um, but they need to be served. So you're going to have to, I told him, you're going to have to find out where she lives. You're going to have to hire um, a, um, a private investigator. You're going to have to do all the steps the court's going to require you to do to look for her and locate her so she can be served before they even consider the possibility of service by publication. I, I think people think that that's going to be an easy process, the service by publication. In actuality, the courts make you jump through so many hoops um, that if you follow those the, what they, if you follow what the court said you have to do before they will entertain allowing you to do service by publication, um, you will probably find your spouse because it's up into including hiring a private investigator and taking 10 other steps, you know, showing that you've checked the yellow pages online or you've searched, scoured social media and showing proof that you did that and then explaining your results. And even so, to be honest with you, it's going to be faster to find your spouse than it is to do the service by publication because you have to not only put in the application for service by publication and get the court to approve it, but then you have to put it in the newspaper for 30 days. And then only after 30 days after that are they considered served. So it really is going to set you back about three months doing that. I would say, and all the people that have called me, except for the two today, I'm sure they'll call me back if they're able to locate them. I said, if you can find them, um, that's fine because they were simple, short-term marriage, no kids, no assets, no debt. So we can do a true default style divorce. We don't need them to agree. We would just file, serve them, wait the 30 days, turn in the default judgment. So, <clears throat> need a little bit of water here. The other one was, um, they said not in agreement, uh, but it was, again, all the same criteria, no assets, no debts, short-term marriage, no kids, uh, no nothing, And uh, but spouse had moved to Canada and said they were not going to cooperate. That creates a whole another host of problems if uh, a spouse is out of country because all these international laws come into place about them being served and all that. So we, I don't touch those because they are highly complex, um, even in simple divorce cases. If they're you know don't know where they're at but they know they're out of country, there's a whole another process with serving that we just don't deal with. 